haven't done a gig, lo gig log in like ever, so I'm going to do one now. Now, in the past few months, uh, I've probably done maybe, throughout the summer, maybe like five, not including school dances, uh, which there would be one. And uh, I took a, a few videos here and there on each, in each wedding reception. And uh, not too much, though, because I'm pretty concentrated on, on uh, you know, what I'm doing. And my partner is, uh, he doesn't, my assistant, he's not too keen on holding the camera in front of a person uh, without previously asking them. So anyways, I, I, I took what I could. Now, the first one I'm going to talk about was a total disaster, and I'll tell you why. Uh, really, it was kind of unavoidable. But it's my fault for not having a reliable backup either. This is what happened. Uh, in a nutshell, the bride and groom told me to go home. So uh, I'll lay it out for you. We had the computer. We were uh, downloading a couple of last minute songs. We had net search anyways with virtual DJ. <clears throat> a few minutes before uh, the guests were supposed to arrive. Maybe an hour before the guests were supposed to arrive. Um, so jump ahead 45 minutes and we're shutting down the computer because it has to install updates. We shut it down. 15 minutes later, it's still shutting down and installing those updates. So we're like, oh, well, what the hell? We gotta start the music now. So, of course, un unfortunately, we had to press the button and abort the update installation and restart and open up uh, our virtual DJ to start up the uh, music for the entry song and the, and the first dances. This is what happened. It turned slow songs into dubstep. Because there's skipping and pausing and you know what I mean? Like, it just mangled the songs, completely ruined everything, ruined their first dances. And uh, after we got things figured out, uh, after we were trying to get things figured out, about 45 minutes after the show was about to start, after dinner, they, uh, they, uh, they, they had an iPod dock there and a microphone for the in-house uh, speakers at this uh, convention center. And uh, so there's this big shot with the glasses and the beard, and he ran the show for a while. And then I got my brother to bring in his laptop because my secondary laptop, my backup. Guess what? It just kept shutting off. It was a power. It's, a, it's this thing that's been happening. It doesn't happen very often, but it decided to happen a lot on that night. So once I brought, got my brother to torrent a virtual DJ, he brought it up to me right away. Once I got it there, they decided. Oh, well, we're already okay. Look, everybody's dancing with uh, our iPod dock, so why don't you just pack up and go home? So we did. Um, so if I can find the clip of what I took last night, uh, that night of of, uh, of the background music, I'll put it in right now. But I don't know if I still have it. It's not that interesting anyway, so I probably won't put it in. What else do we have to talk about? Another problem I had throughout the course of the entire summer is I grabbed lighting tripod, uh, lighting truss tripods, a set of speaker stands for my speakers. I'd say they're about eight feet high uh, from top to bottom when they're deployed, and they don't really shrink much. So that's how high our speakers were. It was maybe a good foot and a half uh, over everybody's head, especially the shorter people. So I really had to turn it up in order to, to get everybody on the floor immediately in front of them to hear. And unfortunately, it went throughout the entire room, throughout all the tables for the wedding receptions I did. So that was a pretty bad mistake. Uh, well, that was my, uh, that was an acquaintance who made that mistake of bringing them, but I didn't bother to get them changed the whole summer. In fact, there's this one convention center we play where it has a beam every four feet that sticks out of the ceiling about this much. And we couldn't mount the speakers there, so that kind of limited us to where we could set up and stuff. So... That's, uh, that's another problem we had. Uh, let me think of what else I can talk about here. We have this subwoofer. It's, uh, it's a passive subwoofer. Maybe about this tall. And this wide, super heavy. It's a homemade cab by a guy that lives uh, a few communities away from this city. I'm not sure the size of the driver. Uh, I think I think it's probably around this big. Uh, I'm not sure of the wattage or anything, but normally we use it for school dances, and it's powered at around. We we use an amp that's I think 750 watts for it. 
So, I'm not sure if that's for one side or both sides. But anyways, I, I brought it because I'm, I played this uh, this hall that mysteriously, last last time I was there, uh, it it was it was pretty big. And then they, they built this office area. So all the echo is totally gone, and it's twice as small. Like, it's smaller than a normal place that I would have done. And uh, I was planning on get, bringing the subwoofer to it, uh, this huge thing, like, it barely fits underneath my table, that's where I put it. Uh, it's super heavy, takes two people, hardly fits in my uh, Nissan Rogue. I, uh, I took that to the to this youth center place, and because uh, I did a, uh, a venue inspection just to take a look at the place, and I, and I brought it the day before to make light, light work for the day after, the day that of the event. And that's what happened. It was, uh, I was quite disappointed, and it was sitting here in my basement the whole summer, and it created a few hours of extra work of transporting it back to the school and everything. Back to the warehouse. So that's uh, that's not good. Anyways, a few tunes came out over the summer, but it's hard to tell what's popular since uh, between school years and not school years, the socialness of people my age kind of breaks up a little. Of course, uh, I work at a radio station and I have for the majority of the summer. It's hard to tell what's new, but they're, they're pretty much my main source of what's new. Uh, well, for what's supposed to be popular. I'm not sure if we're doing payola or not, but that's a whole other video. So, yeah, Billboard Hot 100 and MMTop20.ca was pretty much my source for uh, for music this summer. So now I guess I'll show you some clips of, uh, of my, what I took over the summer. I didn't really have enough clips of each, of each venue, of each event, to really make their own gig log, so I'll just throw them all together now. Not including the school dance. I've got plenty of that, so... I'm going to put that all at the end. So, I will mention that I did have a few lousy crowds or lousy dances this summer. There's this one place that I hate for the layout. Because you walk in, and there's this hallway. And then you, to the right, there's a little double door. And then that's where the big area is with the tables. And then we're on the corner by the dance floor. And the kitchen's there. And then you go down a hallway to the left, and that's where the bar is. It's got a big TV on the sports channel, because it's a golf club. And it's got the big bar, big fancy shebang. It's got vending machines, and it's got this big TV. So guess what was the more popular attraction? The dance floor or the bar? That's why I hate playing there. It's a beautiful spot. Big, long driveway. I'm not going to mention the name, but there's trees everywhere because it's a golf course, and it's a, it's, a, it's a golf club. And that's a pretty common venue, one of the most common in the whole place, in the whole city. But... Uh, I hate it for that reason. They gotta move the bar. It's just, uh, it's just a problem. That's why I don't normally get as many dancers uh, as I would if there was a good layout. Brian S. Red recently did a video about that just yesterday. Uh, you should totally check it out. Anyway, so here's the clips from different wedding receptions I did this summer. Bear with me. Uh, some of them were kind of lousy. I'll, I'll admit that, but. My last one I did was pretty was pretty awesome. I didn't take much video of it, I don't think so. Anyways, here you go. So this would be my first official gig log. I've taken footage of other gigs before, intending to put gig logs together, but I've never gotten around to it. So I'll just uh, it starts at around. I don't have a watch. But uh, my buddy should be here in about an hour and a half, and we'll get on the road, my assistant. So this is what I'm bringing to tonight. It's a wedding reception at a place called Danny's. It's my pretty much my most popular venue. I've got a T-bar for the lights here. Oh, sorry, my headphone cable. T-bar for the lights. And a tripod. i got two LED Color Splash Juniors in there. I got two speaker stands here. Now here's the thing. I'm kind of a tall guy, but not well, sort of. And that's how tall those speaker stands are compared to me. They're really tall, aren't they? Well, look, look at them compared to the, the height of the light switch. Do it this way. There. That's a lot higher than head level, isn't it? For the average person. 
And that's the problem I'm facing tonight because these speaker stands are too high and they're probably just meant for lighting trusses like we do at school. Um, I've been using them all summer and uh, except for one gig where it was pretty informal and I had it on uh, chairs, each speaker, which we'll get to in a second. So I either have good sound quality and put them on chairs or, uh, or on the table actually, that'll be a good height. Or, I, oops, dropped the camera. Or I risk a little bit of safety and uh, I risk the sound quality, but it, looks more, but it looks better if I put it on these tripods. But it's kind of high and that's as low as they go. So, anyways, got extension cords in here, fan, that'll go under the table and then this uh, will bring it to the top of the table, all the air. Never done that before. I'm not sure how ugly it'll look. I'll see when I get there. Yorkville M1610. Great little powerful mixer. I know I'm going to upgrade to a rack unit pretty soon. It'll look better. And then I'm going to get a rack in one of those booths that they have. Like a little like controller in the laptop stand. JBL JRX 100. It's uh, 250 to 500 watts. So I'm taking that as 250 RMS program power. And 500 peak. Oh, I'm sorry. Really inconvenient. I've got two of those. My other one is back here behind the subwoofer. Completely identical. I've got a 18 inch, I think, Acer laptop in the bag, and my Discover DJ controller. Now, another disclaimer on that. It's uh it was 120 bucks. I got it when I was like a few a few years ago. It serves the purpose that I need, but I'm going to buy something that looks a little better for to control my virtual emulation software. But that works fine for what I use it for. Now I got cables and stuff in here. Now, the cool part about this is my those of you who are watching this you're going to see what the gig's going to look like in like this five seconds. But I'm only going to see what it's going to look like and if it's going to turn out well in like five hours. So this is what it's going to look like. I'm actually making a gig log tonight. Say hi. Not now. Cool. This song could go to hell. Hey guys, what's up? I didn't shoot a rap video for this yet, so I guess I'll do that now. Um, everything you just saw was shot like a month ago. The time of that gig. I don't know, I've been lousy on YouTube. I'm going to improve that. Except for the, uh, for the scene where there's me in, the, uh, in that storage room. That was, that was, that was just yesterday. It takes me a while to put together YouTube on a crap top like this. Anyway, so that was, uh, I'm just going to talk about, uh, that was the gig I've been needing for a long time. Because the gig before that, 
sucked because I already talked about that a few minutes ago in this video about uh, how my computer kind of broke down on us and ruined the first dances and everything. God forbid. But, so yeah, this, I had a great time. Everybody else did too. Floor was packed the whole night. Lots of my family was there too, so they could really see uh, what we're capable of. So, that's why I like this gig. The layout of that, of that uh, center, too, that was a place that, that I liked that I was talking about beforehand and how Brian Red recently did a video about uh, layouts of convention centers for wedding receptions. That was perfect because we were there and we the dance floor was directly in front of us and then behind the pillars, like the, the structural support pillars, that's where all the tables were. And then on the other side of the tables was the head table and the bar was to our left. And it looked quite similar to one of the... Uh, optimal graphics that uh, Brian had produced, and I liked it too. I, I've, I've always said that, C contrary to that golf club that I was talking about. So, yeah, that's it. Now I'm going to talk about uh, some upcoming videos you can see on my channel. I'm going to make a tour of the uh, radio station I worked at, discreetly, hopefully. I'll post that as soon as possible, probably uh, before this weekend, when I can get in there with a camera and do some shooting work. Uh, also, Got a new toy coming in this week. It's from American Audio, but uh, and it's a mix between an analog mixer and a uh, software controller. Okay, see if you can guess what it is. And it's got RCA inputs for the analog mixer part, or it could be MIDI MIDI controller, and it has a built-in sound card and everything. Doesn't have a built-in trackpad or touch stripes strips. That's pretty much all I can really tell you, okay? So it's from American Audio. If you want to hear me say that again, seek backwards, okay? Anyways, let me go. Let me know in the comment section of what you want to see up for my channel. Hopefully I can get some new stuff up. Uh, I'm going to post a video shortly after this one was posted uh, of the welcome back to school dance at my high school that I did. Obviously, it's much better, than, bigger than this wedding reception, that's for damn sure. Uh, so, yeah. Anyways, I'll get that video up really shortly. So, there you go. That's a gig log from this summer.